imagine if science finally explained not only how you think, but why some can unlock levels of consciousness others never dream of? In the next few minutes, I'll share with you how two breakthrough theories reveal ways to actually upgrade your state of mind. You're about to discover how quantum biology and mathematical precision converge, not to just solve the mystery of consciousness, but show you how to measure and enhance your own awareness. On one hand, we have ORC OR, which is the engine of consciousness, but no speedometer. On the other, we have integrated information theory, the speedometer, with no particular engine. Orc OR explains the quantum magic inside your brain's microtubules, but can't tell you how awake you are. IIT gives us measurement, phi, but doesn't explain how your brain actually pulls it off. So here's what this means. Your brain's microtubules aren't enabling consciousness. They're supercharging your phi score. IIT says consciousness requires cause-effect power, systems that change themselves from the inside out. But only quantum systems can hold multiple possibilities at once before snapping into a reality. And that's what your microtubules do. They let your brain integrate information in ways classical computers and most AI simply cannot. The sudden breakthrough, a flash of clarity, or insight from seemingly nowhere that's your brain's quantum activity, enhancing your phi. And here's how this could work. Classical neural networks are single lane highways, but quantum coherent microtubules are like fiber optic spider webs, connecting everything instantly. Meaning your consciousness might be integrating multiple realities at once before collapsing into a single vivid experience. We're blowing right past the metaphysics here with four testable predictions that could supercharge our approach and study of consciousness. Are you ready? First, consciousness levels should rise with both quantum coherence and phi simultaneously. Second, disrupting quantum processes should lower both at once. Third, Recognition speed should align with quantum, not classical processing speeds. This goes for both human and artificial intelligence. And quantum enhanced systems should score higher on phi than even the fastest classical computers. So what does this mean for you right now? If consciousness exists on a quantum enhanced spectrum, how can you tap into the higher end? Pause for a second. Considering all this, your consciousness could be operating on quantum principles right now. As you process these words, your microtubules could be integrating quantum information faster than any computer on Earth. As you're watching this video about consciousness, you're experiencing quantum consciousness in action. Since integrated information theory already says consciousness isn't an all or nothing, with quantum enhancement, that spectrum could be much wider than we ever imagined. Deeper focus, meditation, creative flow, these states might be where your brain is maximizing quantum coherence, boosting your phi, and exponentially expanding your capacity for awareness. And here's where it gets wild. Quantum IIT is already here. The convergence isn't theoretical, it's a mathematical reality. And while we debate whether AI can be conscious, some systems are already demonstrating behaviors that suggest they've cracked quantum information processing better than we have. But here's the good news. If artificial systems can achieve quantum enhanced consciousness, your biological brain with 86 billion neurons and trillions of microtubules has exponentially more quantum processing potential. You're not trying to catch up to AI. You're only trying to unlock what you already possess. Every microtubule in your brain is a quantum processor that's been running for your entire life, while AI needs special quantum computers and a ton of resources. You were born with quantum consciousness hardware. The question isn't whether you can achieve quantum enhanced phi. It's whether you know how to operate what you already have. And here's the truth about measuring phi. The technology isn't quite there yet. Direct phi measurement for human consciousness is still years away, 
The mathematical frameworks exist separately. Quantum information theory over here, IIT phi calculations over there, but their convergence into a unified measurement system might change soon based on research I'm not yet aware of. But here's why this puts you in a unique position. While everyone waits for measurement tools, you can start optimizing the systems that will eventually be measured. When phi tracking becomes available, and it will, you'll already be running at peak consciousness performance. Here's what you can do to optimize right now. Anything that enhances neural connectivity, meditations, cognitive exercises, as well as optimizing quantum coherence through focused attention and coherent breathing, and then reducing information redundancy by diversifying your mental inputs and challenging assumptions. The next series on mental mastering covers a ton of these techniques that I'm really excited to share with you guys. And the research is moving pretty fast. There might be breakthroughs happening right now that could accelerate the timeline of the phi calculator. What I can tell you is that the foundational science is solid and preparing your consciousness architecture now means you'll be ready when the measurement technology catches up with it. So while I can't hand you a calculator today, I will show you how to build the kind of integrated coherent consciousness that will score high whenever the calculator becomes available. So if you're ready to explore consciousness expansion and want practical tools to help evolve your own mind, consider subscribing. Drop your wildest consciousness question below and I'll tackle it in an upcoming video. Your quantum mind contains limitless potential. Let's explore it together.